Hello ladies and gents, Rook here and welcome to Normal Films. Today we're going to continue our iPhone tutorials and uh, it is important for the next tutorials that uh, you guys know this. To bring up your control center, you're going to start from the bottom and basically swipe up and you'll have your control center up and then you can just swipe it back down to remove it. Now that we have control center open, I'm going to discuss and show you guys everything in control center and how you guys can use it to your advantage because honestly you guys control center is it just makes the iPhone so much simpler and easier to access. So first one more time I'm going to explain just swiping from your home button straight up and uh, you'll actually access your control center and you can actually access this within any app, any game that you may be playing. And uh, for example, let's say I'm on I'm on Safari right here, and you can drag up, and here you have your control center. So I'm gonna go back home and open up my control center. So let's begin with airplane mode at the top left hand corner of control center. Here I'll have it highlighted for you guys. You select this on. It means it's gonna shut off all your Wi-Fi, all your cellular data. It's gonna shut off all your Bluetooth devices, like any radio that may have like connected to uh, like some wi a wireless network. Um, it will be shut off and I like to say airplane mode is you turn that on whenever you're on an airplane honestly most airplanes as well actually nowadays most airplanes have Wi-Fi in them but like when you're taking off they suggest you shut off everything if you put on the airplane mode your iPhone should be completely fine then just to the right of it next is you have your wireless your Wi-Fi which I'm actually gonna keep on I just kind of dimmed it but yeah I already have it on here this is your Wi-Fi network and it means that you're using Wi-Fi you can um, select it to basically unselect it to disconnect from Wi-Fi that way you're only using your cellular data if you want to then just to the right of it you have the Bluetooth here and that is let's say you want to connect a third-party keyboard and you want to use a key external keyboard with your iPhone to type and which is sometimes comes in handy then just to the right side you have uh, do not disturb which basically silences your phone completely and uh, any notifications of any sort will basically be really it will be in silent mode and uh, basically it's really good when you're sleeping or you do not want to be disturbed then you also have the lock orientation and uh, like I said most of these I'll be explaining further details in the future tutorials but lock orientation is let's say you were playing an app and or let's say you're reading a book and you only want your iPhone to be in one one location like this up and down view. You don't want it to look, let's say you accidentally put your iPhone sideways, it would normally change views to that side view. But if you don't want it to change views, you just enable lock orientation and it will stay in that same view. Then at the same time we have it here is our brightness. Everybody's default should be auto brightness, which it adjusts automatically depending on what kind of light you have at the time and what kind of light it's you're receiving like if it's really dark it might go pretty dim because you really don't need that much light and if it's like really bright outside you might go really bright in order for you to easier easily make you easily see your screen then we also have our music just below it we have our go back and then we have the play and then we also have the actual uh, go forward or you can also also hold these to fast forward through a song then you have the volume of your overall like in-game app uh, music or your music just music regarding music that the song that you may be listening at the moment then we have airdrop which I'll be discussing more in detail in future tutorials basically to um, quickly send photos or quick uh, little yeah basically photos or files to anybody around you with airdrop enabled and also you see Ramon's Apple here that this is what I'm using to record at the moment and uh, that's through your my Apple TV which I'll discuss in the future tutorial as well then we have here is some quick access apps here at the bottom left hand corner we have the flashlight lap you just tap it and it comes on as your flashlight it really comes in handy if you're looking for something it's really dark then here we have our stopwatch which includes additional items but I'll also cover in the future tutorials then we have here is our calculator and then we also have our camera and as you can see here's my camera at the moment and I just took a photo accidentally when I'm trying to swipe for control center and that's basically it of the actual control center be sure, sure to check out any future tutorials for further in-depth coverage thank you guys and later Let my life be the proof, the proof of your love.